This is not a mere beginner's guide to techniques. This is to help you, the committed fan, read a few more sumo words which maybe, one day, you can even use to talk to your favourite wrestler. Here, let's look at the words which describe the 13 standard sumo throws. A term you likely hear a lot is uatenage, listed as the sixth most common technique. The term comprises the kanji characters for above or over, hand, and throw from the verb nageru, giving you an overhand or overarm throw. Technically, you should be using the foot on your throwing side as the pivot, and opening out your other foot to create space for your foe to fall. To spell shitatenage, we need change only the first character from over to under or below. Shita. That gives us underhand or underarm throw. And just as with uatenage, the foot on your throwing side should be your pivot, the other foot should be opened out. It is currently the tenth most common technique. Knowing that, you can then start to grasp the difference between a nage and a dashi nage. Dashi, you'll be reassured to know, is the same word used to describe oshidashi, the push out. Here, it's kind of connected because you might use the dashinage to set up a push-out. But it really stems from the phrase aite o mae ni dasu putting your opponent further forwards or in front of you. The dashinage is thus a pulling throw, and as you might expect, sumo has two. Uate dashinage, with the overarm, and shitate dashinage, with the underarm. In both cases, the foot on the throwing side is the pivot. Well, ideally. A throw without use of the belt is kotenage. It is spelt with the characters for little and hand, which, take my word for it, together translate as forearm. You may be aware this is one of Tamawashi's favourites. It basically involves locking the opponent's forearm or triceps and throwing. Many a famous elbow has been damaged by the technique, Enho's merely the latest, but it is also risky for the attacker if the foe does not fall, which is why a short, sharp throwing movement is advised. Sukuinage spelt with the character for scoop, is of course a scoop throw performed by placing the arm inside a foe's armpit and scooping up. It can be spectacular if executed well, a disaster if mistimed. Kubinage is spelt with the character for neck, ergo it refers to a neck throw. You wrap an arm around the neck, put your hip into it, and send your opponent to ground. This often serves as a useful last resort for men who've conceded a double inside grip. Koshinage, spelt with the character for hip, is naturally a hip throw, which can be achieved with or without the belt. If your phenomenal strength allows you to ram your foe against your hip and throw, Koshinage will be the outcome. Yaguranage is the scaffold throw, spelt with the same character that describes the scaffold outside the arena which hosts taiko drumming, unless it's wet and windy. The move involves lifting your foe with your knee or thigh, and then throwing him from the height of a scaffold. Hakuho once famously deployed this move on Okinomi. Kakenage is the trip throw, executed by tripping your adversary with one leg and pivoting on the other. Tsukaminage, based on the word tsukamu, or grab, involves seizing the rear of your opponent's belt, lifting him skywards, and dropping. 
The amazing strength required means it's little surprise that we've only seen this move once in the past five years. Nicho Nage has a more interesting etymology. Ni is the character for the number two. Cho, a counting word for long and narrow things. In this case, legs. Nicho Nage is thus a move which sees a wrestler sweep both his opponent's legs from under him by moving, say, his right leg across his foe's right leg and tripping from the front with the heel. He could also do this left leg to left leg. Finally, we have a term from which the word nage is absent. It reads iponzeoi, comprised of the characters for one, long thing, yes, both cho and hon can be used to count long things, and seo, to carry on one's back, either a physical load or a figurative burden. Now in judo, they do add the word nage to make iponzeoi nage, the move whereby you take one enemy arm with both hands, raise him onto your back, and throw. In sumo, it's the same, although you're likely working with a heavier foe, hence the move's rare deployment. This being one of just nine iponzeoi seen since 2016.